नमस्कार दोस्तों सो सी वी हैव दिस क्वेश्चन टुडे बट यू नो वी आर नॉट सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन एज पर द टेक्स्ट बुक वी आर सॉल्विंग इट एज पर यूर बोर्ड एग्जाम हाउ डू यू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन विदाउट यूजिंग कैलकुलेटर दैट इज द मेन पर्पज ऑफ सॉल्विंग ईच क्वेश्चन सेपरेटली सो जस्ट लुक एट इट दैट वी हैव अ फाइव परसेंट सोल्यूशन बाई मास ऑफ केन शुगर इन वॉटर हैज फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ टू सेवेंटी वन के सो फ्रॉम द स्टेटमेंट इट इज क्लियर दैट इट इज रिलेटेड टू फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ फाइव परसेंट ग्लूकोज इन वॉटर if freezing point of pure water is given to us that means t not f freezing point of pure solvent that is 273.15 kelvin and then 5% solution by mass of cane sugar means is what it means 5 gram of cane sugar is present in 100 gram of solution or 95 gram of water because solution is aqueous so from here we get wb as 5 gram wa as 95 gram right and when 5% solution of cane sugar is there freezing point is 271 kelvin now when it is related to freezing point we need depression in freezing point which is a colligative property you know so delta tf is equal to t not f minus tf t not f is 273.15 minus tf 271 so from here delta tf comes out to be yes 2. One five Kelvin. This is delta Tf. Now we know that delta Tf is equal to Kf into Wb by Mb into Wa in two thousand because delta Tf is Kf M. And M is W B into thousand over M B into W A. W B W A we have delta T F we have K F is not given. And M B we can get it from the formula of cane sugar. So you know cane sugar is sucrose C twelve H twenty two O eleven. So that is twelve into twelve, twenty two into one plus eleven into sixteen. So it comes out to be three forty two gram per mole. So just put the values. This delta T F is for K sugar. So delta T F. of cane sugar is equal to kf into 5 into 1000 divided by 342 into wa what is wa 95 and this delta tf the value of this is 2. One five. So this is the equation number 
1 from the statement okay now come to next calculate the freezing point of 5% glucose in water just note down then we will go further okay just note down it now next is 5% glucose in water means again 5 gram of glucose in 100 gram of solution or 95 gram of water so now delta tf of glucose is equal to kf wb by mb wa into 1000 wb and wa same 5 and 95 kf it is for water then mb what is mb mb of glucose c6 h12 o6 means 12 into 6 plus 12 into 1 plus 6 into 16 it comes out to be 180 gram per mole so just put the values so delta tf of glucose is equal to kf into again 5 into 1000 over 180 into yes 95 so this is the equation number 2 this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 from these two equations we have to calculate first delta tf then tf of glucose so just note down then we will proceed further so these two equations we have derived from the statement now divide second equation by so delta Tf of glucose divided by 2.15 is equal to yes Kf 5000 over 180 into 95 and it is just reciprocate so reciprocate the value we get this thing kf kf cancel no need 5 5 cancel 1000 1000 cancel 95 95 cancel so what would we get delta tf of delta tf glucose is equal to 342 over 180 and this value into 2.15 right now it is difficult to multiply and divide if you wish to calculate by multiplication and division it's your choice but if you would like to calculate it by using log table then take it as x x equal to 3 4 2 into 2.15 over 180 now log of x equal to log of 342 plus log of 180 minus sorry log of 2.15 minus log of 180 so log of 342 see it becomes 2. Point so 34 2 it is 5 3 4 0 plus it is 0 point 
21.5 तो log is 3324 minus log of 180 so it is 2.2553 so from here it is 2.0 point when we solve it it is 2.8 Six six four minus again two point two five five three. From here we get the value zero point six one one one. So this is log x. From here x is anti log of this value. So anti log of this value comes out to be. Four point zero eight four. This is delta T F of glucose. So here we get delta T F of glucose as four point zero eight four by using log and anti log table. Then you know T F. T not F minus T F of glucose is equal to four point zero eight four. So from here, T F of glucose is equal to T not F minus four point zero eight four, and this is two seventy three point. One five minus four point zero eight four. So the value comes out to be it is two sixty nine point zero six six Kelvin. That implies T F for glucose is two sixty nine point one. Almost, this is the value for the freezing point of five percent glucose in water. So, in this way, we can solve it without using multiplication or division. Just go for addition and subtraction by using log and anti-log table. log and anti log table you can demand from your examiner so this is all about this question this is from ncert question number 20 thank you very much for watching this video do like subscribe and share my channel god bless you all happy learning